Okay, now that I have all your attention, you're awake, I know you've had a lot of um, stuff before this, but I'm here to talk to you about the paw process. You may be asking me, what is the paw process? Um, and what PAW stands for is uh, plasma arc welding. Alright? And how many engineers do we have here? I'm guessing since we're at an engineering college, that's most of you. Um, so this is probably going to come up at some point in your professional life, depending on if you're, well, it really doesn't matter what kind of engineering, it's probably going to pop up somewhere or another. Or another. Um, so, specifically for the uh, PAW process, um, I am going to speak to you about an article from the Journal of uh, Welding and Joining. Um, and the article's name is uh, Stabilization of Plasma Welding Arcs by uh, Low-Powered Laser Beams. Um, now, uh, that sounds very boring, but it has the word laser in it. So, automatically, it's like 10 times better. Um, now, before I explain how the PAW process is um, changed by adding a laser, um, I must explain the PAW process. Um, the PAW process is uh, produced by joining two metals um, using a constricted arc of ionized gas, which we call plasma, um, producing extreme heat joining the metals. All right, now that you know how the PAW process works, I can explain the article and how uh, and why they used a laser to affect the PAW process. Um, the team in the article put a 100 watt laser in front of the uh, plasma stream, um, hoping that the laser's radiation would affect the plasma stream. Although adding the laser um, did have a significant drop in voltage. The radiation from the laser didn't affect the stream. It just uh, made the metal have uh, let's see, a uh, causing it. The laser caused a evaporation on the metal. Um, causing a low ionization, helping with uh, electric conductivity. Um, and you're asking, why is this drop in voltage helpful? Um, the drop in voltage um, can lead to the uh, starting point of developing higher speed PAW applications for metal um, by uh, providing a synergistic effect for melting efficiency. Uh, to recap, so the PAW process is plasma arc welding. A, um, the reason it is important to you guys is you're all engineers mostly and you're going to have to deal with it sometime in the future. Um, although I don't have an example of plasma arc welding, this is plasma arc cutting. Um, it's a very similar process. Um, they're just using it to cut the metal instead of joining two metals together. Um, and how the laser is affecting it, it increases uh, the melting efficiency, which is good for business. <laughs>